I realized when I started my YouTube channel last year, I was just posting random content and I never talked about the reason as to why I was literally opening this channel. And today on this video, I'm going to talk about the facts, the fears, and what, and the feelings as, as to why I'm connecting my YouTube channel with, with my life. As in documenting my YouTube channel, my life on my YouTube channel, like you get it, yeah. Uh, stay tuned. My name is Linda, and this channel's name is Linda Lean. Lean for L Y N D E R. Okay, I know I've been posting a few videos, like twenty something irrelevant videos. And today I would like to address as to why I chose this path in the first place. I know I've been randomly doing all kind of content, what have you, anything I will think of posting, I post. I have never addressed as to why I'm, I've chosen this platform to document my life, actually, literally, like, I thought this topic can go without being addressed, but no, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Today, now, I would like to talk about the reason as to why this YouTube channel fits me. My feelings, the facts, and my fears all combined. Explaining the reason as to why I'm here on YouTube. So you're welcome and thank you for tuning in. Today on this video, I'm going to talk about the facts, the fears, and what, and the feelings as, as to why I'm connecting my YouTube channel with, with my life, as in documenting my YouTube channel, my life on my YouTube channel, like you get it, yeah talking about these fears, feelings, and facts that I'm talking about. There are so many, but I'm going to focus on only the five, the, the five that I'm going to talk about today. This is the feeling that, you know, personally, I have a feeling that my life is, is has more purpose than just living this the normal life. I feel like uh, I'm special in some types of way. I feel that yeah. I'm just unique. That you know, everybody yeah. feels so, like they are yeah. unique. Damn! You know, everybody feels that they are unique in some type of way. Like, but this feeling to me, like, it's a burning feeling inside me that I need to let it out in this platform. That's why I choose to. Yeah, that is the, that is the what, the first, the first, the first thing, the first, the first fears, feelings, and facts that I'm going to talk about. The second feeling is that I need to document my life. I can't just live, live blindly and uh, not making memories in a place I'll always revisit and uh, eh? my family to revisit what I've been doing over the years or something, you know, I feel like I should not waste my life without it being on somewhere like a visible place. I mean, when I say visible, like somebody can look for me somewhere and get me my life and everything that I do without personally like having me around. That's why I need this platform. So. The third thing, I'm eager to kill the monsters inside me. Yes, these monsters. The first monster, the fear of expression. In real life, I'm this kind of a person, like they say, introvert. I'm an introvert, and sometimes. Not even sometimes, always. 
I'm, I'm poor at expressing myself to people, my family, my friends, <laughs> at school, my teachers, just generally all over, like entirely all my life since the time I realized myself, since I started school or just growing up, I have known myself like that. And I'm kind of hard to change, but I'm trying my best now to scrap it off my skin. But yeah, that is how I can tell it. Another fear, um, the fear of shyness. I'm trying to keep this monster called shyness inside me. I'm a very shy person. <laughs> I wish you knew. I'm a very shy person in person, like in person personalities. Shyness is part of the part of my personality. Like I don't know what I'm usually shy of. Maybe I don't know. That is another another second monster that I'm trying to kill. And the third monster. This is still one point. The third point. The, the third monster in that point is feeling of not being enough. Yeah. All my life, I've always felt like I'm not enough. I'm not the, the daughter my mother wanted. I'm not the niece my aunt wanted. I'm not the sister my brothers and sister wanted. Like I'm not the people, the student my teacher wants. I'm always feeling like I'm not enough to somebody. Even now as a grown up, I still feel like I'm not even enough to my fiancé or something, you know. I just the feel of feeling no of feeling that you're not enough. That is the another monks I'm trying to kill. I'm trying so hard. Yeah. The fourth monster. The fear of living life from hand to mouth. Like my tribesmen. You know the fear that like <laughs> you're just working on this work, you get paid. And that money, straight expenses, bills. Literally, that is my greatest fear. Right now, like, uh, that is a monster to me. Like, a monster I'm trying to to kill right now, like, with all my, with all my energy. I'm trying to kill that monster, yes. Fear of, fear of living from arm to mouth, which is so scary to everybody, you know. God help me. The 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 fifth the fifth the fifth point is, and literally no one to to talk to talk with. You know, you usually have this fear, fear and uh, what? Like you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to at any point or or consult. You just having your own self and your own brain. No one to tell you about anything like fear of no one to talk to. You know, I know you understand about what I'm saying. Like, it's just the way I've said it. Fear of having no one to talk to. Yes. When I'm here on YouTube, I have you guys. I talk to you. I express myself here on this platform. I feel at least there's something that has come out from my chest. Now that physically there's no one who can listen to my shit. Gratefully, there's this platform. Yes. The fifth point. It is the fact that I have no close friends in my life. Facts. Underline the word facts. The fact that I have no friends In my life, that is not even a joke, guys. It's literally the truth. I got no like no friends. Everybody now is an adult. Everyone is busy with their life. No, no one has got time or any goddamn mind to think about anyone anymore. Like, yeah, it's life, okay, but it's draining. The fact that you can sit down and think that nobody is there to listen to your to you and your tantrums. It's so draining. Yeah. Yes. 
And the last of it all, being here on YouTube, it's a luxury. Ask me why. <laughs> it's a luxury because I got to choose what to do. No one has to ask. No one is there to tell me what, what I'm what I'm going to do or what I'm not going to do. Like I choose whatever I want to do at any time at any place. I guess that is freedom. I love freedom, and I would like YouTube to be the most the most place for me to explore that freedom. The main place. For me to explore myself, explore my inner, inner person, I guess, I don't know, inner what, something just, mm. knowing myself more, killing my monsters, trying, trying to find who I am, and what, what is my purpose in life. As also I'm, as I as I'm earning also, you know, all, everything in life is aiming to make your life better. I really love to make my life better here on YouTube. Those are the reasons I I, I can think that I would want to stay here on this platform, invest in this platform, share my life experiences, my family fun moments here with you guys that would be so great the moment i get to that point i know that god could have answered my prayers in some way the most in some way in the most the most i don't know how i'll put it yes. thank you for staying and up to this point Thank you for being patient with me in this video. If you kindly want to support this channel at this early age, early stage, that I'm just beginning, despite having some 20 plus videos that are irrelevant in this channel, I'll, I'll kindly request you to subscribe down there subscribe to this channel and it will give up it will give me it will motivate me yes i'll be honest that will be a motivation for me to continue making content make everyone's life better out here engage and talk with people out here know how people feel maybe i'm not alone maybe i'm thinking that this lonely life and horrible feeling and experience just is only for me I'm killing myself with thought with thinking a lot of things and you are there out out there we can't we we could just connect each other here and figure out ourselves out okay bye See you in my next video.